coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Atlantic and Archer to kickstart electric aviation in Florida. Vertical Flight Society to hold EVTOL Symposium. And first, Zero E fuel cell powers on. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Atlantic and Archer to kickstart electric aviation in Florida. While Joby has embarked on building its first electric charging infrastructure on the other side of the country, Archer Aviation has begun laying groundwork for locations throughout LA, New York City, Northern California, and South Florida. The brand announced a deal with Atlantic Aviation that will see them, quote, electrify several of Atlantic Aviation's existing aviation assets to support future electric aircraft operations, including Archer's Midnight Air Taxi, at Atlantic Aviation locations across four key launch markets, end quote. The plan will leverage both parties' existing relationships with Beta Technologies, granting them their interoperable rapid recharge systems. That company recently showed off their flagship combined charging system, endorsed by Gamma, as a functional, reliable addition to FBOs that will service a pretty good array of electric aircraft. The new charging infrastructure will be rolled out across initial locations in 2025. Nikhil Goal, Archer's chief commercial officer, said, quote, we are excited to work with Atlantic to help electrify their vast portfolio of high-value aviation assets in America's most congested cities, including the New York, Los Angeles, Miami, and San Francisco markets. These initial eVTOL Vertiport locations will provide a launching pad for future expansion across Atlantic's portfolio and ensure that our midnight aircraft has safe, centrally located landing facilities for our future passengers." End quote. After the break, Surf Air Mobility adds another African operator to the team. the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air uh, just in terms of your product support as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Surf Air Mobility adds another African operator to the team. Surf Air Mobility just keeps adding on to its friends abroad, offering an electric battery-powered modification to the Cessna 208 Caravan. Its most recent business partner is Kenya's largest caravan operator, Z Boscovic Air Charters. The operator boasts a baker's dozen of Cessna caravans, with another pair on the way by year's end. The partnership will see Surf Air Mobility convert the aircraft into their own proprietary electrified powertrain tech. Joby signs on with Atlantic Aviation. Archer isn't the only one inking deals for electric charging infrastructure with Atlantic Aviation, with the most recent wire coming courtesy of Joby for more of the same. Quote, through more than 30,000 miles of all-electric vertical flight with full-scale prototype aircraft, our team has fine-tuned a ground support system that allows for the simultaneous recharging of multiple battery packs, external coolant exchange, and secure data offload after flight, making it suitable for all electric aircraft." End quote. Hammer Drone gets AFWorks blessing for development. 
Advanced aircraft company snagged a direct-to-phase-2 contract AFWorks for $1.25 million, allowing it to further develop its hybrid advanced multirotor unmanned aircraft system, or HAMMER. The HAMMER concept is hoped to fulfill the USAF Agile Combat Employment concept, offering a flexible mission-ready package for a range of common USAF missions. The hammer can be optimized for a variety of defense applications along the usual ISR profile, as the manufacturer highlights. Gamma applauds Euro AIM report. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association praised the passage of an EU report highlighting the quote key policy and legislative measures needed to accelerate the development of electric aviation in Europe. End quote. The report, called Electric Aviation, a solution for short and mid-range flights, aims to call the shots for where aviation transport will be decades in the future, and what it will take for regulators to ensure it continues to be a form of reliable mass transportation. That was our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Vertical Flight Society to Hold Evital Symposium the program for the Vertical Flight Society's Transformative Vertical Flight Symposium has been published, giving structure to the three-day program. The schedule will include three main events, including the 6th Decennial VFS Aeromechanics Specialist Conference, the 11th Annual Electric VTOL Symposium, and the short course on electric VTOL design. The Aeromechanics Conference will sport more than 70 invited speakers, all focused on various mechanics and technical challenges surrounding vertical flight. All in all, the Society expects more than 600 attendees, with more than 140 addresses across all three main themes. Industry members will be on hand too, with 37 exhibitors making a showing for a surprising proportion of the often limited rotary wing niche. It may be noted that exhibition space has been sold out for a while, with all booths accounted for already. At least two eVTOL manufacturers will bring their flagships along too, allowing those in the know to see the next-gen gear in the flesh. And after these messages, first zero e fuel cell powers on. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. First, Zero E fuel cell powers on. Airbus completed its first powered ground test using its prototype hydrogen fuel cell system, seeing a 1.2 megawatt output. The combined iron pod system consisted of the electric motors to spin the propeller shaft, as well as the units to control, cool, and power them. The test is a, quote, pivotal step on Airbus's Zero E roadmap to put a hydrogen propulsion aircraft into service by 2035. Glenn Llewellyn, vice president of the Zero E Aircraft Program, said, quote, It has been three years since we revealed an aircraft concept 100% powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Since then, we have adhered to our initial timeline and made tremendous progress. The recent success of powering on the iron pod system at 1.2 megawatts is a crucial step toward our goal of putting a hydrogen powered aircraft in the skies by 2035. End quote. Next up, testing will continue on the existing iron pod through 2024, which will suss out issues with the system ahead of miniaturization. Once complete, they'll get to work reducing the size and mass while hardening the Zero-E system to vibration, humidity, and altitude. If all goes well, the resulting hydrogen propulsion system will be installed on MSN-1, the very first A380 ever manufactured. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.